There he is. Hi, everybody. It's me, Susan Gerbic, and I'm joined today with by Mark Edward. Hi, everybody. And um, I'm going to be writing an article for Skeptical Inquirer in, that will publish sometime in March, and I could use your help on it. And so there's no better expert to ask this question of than Mark Edward, and since he's so conveniently located, <laughs> I thought I'd pop on to a Facebook Live, and if you guys will help us out with this article that will be in um put your comments in the show in the comment area down there but what i wanted to think about okay is if psychics were real what would it mean what what kind of world would you be living in if psychics mainly we're talking about mediums <clears throat> communicate with the dead what would it mean and i've been the reason why this came up in my mind is because i started watching the Murdoch trial, the one that's happening in South Carolina, that's just a ma massive. And they keep bringing these people on and talking to them and interviewing them and, you know, getting the story straight. And I thought, well, if mediumship was real, why wouldn't they just bring in a medium and the medium would say, would channel whoever the dead person is and say, well, this is what happened seems like there should be some kind of certification process, I guess, that the courts would use and, and there'd be some kind of strict guidelines, but it just seems odd that we're still not knowing the answer to these, to something that would be simple. So Mark, I'm going to ask you this question. What do you think if mediumship was real? Yeah. You could communicate with the dead. Now they say they have levels, you know, where some seem to only be able to get the alphabet <laughs> and some have uh you know only was seem to want to talk Wait, about them on you need it. you need to ask a question don't because it has to be a simple question okay if mediumship was real yeah in various forms that they yeah. apparently say they can do what would the world be like what would what would change what would be like it would be impossible like it would change it would change the entire uh physical world and there would be no longer any reason to stay alive. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's part you know, of me. if you're, if you're, it's just uh, it, what the crux of the issue is, and we've thought about this for centuries, is, you know, and lately, you and I have talked about it many times, is that, you know, what is wrong with people? If, if we could talk to dead people, then it would change the whole fabric of re reality would uh you know there there would be so much information that could come through that could actually possibly help people but it doesn't ever do anything that has any consequence it's just a bunch of crap so right. I, I, I understand if, if some if somebody could if somebody could talk to a dead person they would be, uh, I always like to say, the most dangerous person on the planet. It would only take one person to do that and prove it and show it. And it would change everything overnight. All religions, Hindu, Buddhism, whatever you, whatever you want to call it, it would, uh, it would be an overnight disaster and people would have no reason to stay alive. They would figure that they might as well just be as dead as a as anything and not have any any uh, uh any reason to stay alive i mean i i have never understood why people would believe that why is it why is it that people consider that this is something that is a real situation if it was a real situation i could only conjecture that it would show the whole the whole reality that we live in into a huge mess and it would be a catastrophe of, of absolute chaos. So yeah, I mean, it only would take one person to be able to show some kind of proof, pass some sort of test. Well, you've Hasn't often, happened. You've often so, said that if somebody was able to communicate with the dead, they certainly wouldn't be at like a hotel lobby, a uh, hotel convention. Yeah, they wouldn't be selling tickets to talk to them. They would be, I'd like to think they would probably be in a bunker somewhere 
you know, uh, 200 feet of, in the ground and their brain would be wired up and scientists and people who are uh, working on top secret, uh, you know, situational awareness or whatever, <clears throat> they would not be telling fortunes and, uh, and sit setting in arenas and telling you that grandma wore a hat, you know, that in their rose garden. I mean, it just, to me, it's just embarrassingly uh, transparent. And it doesn't have anything to do with any spiritual religion or me fighting against that. That's all well and good. It's just a ripoff. And it's, the it, to me, it's, The, the criminal of the criminal actions of the worst kind. So I mean, think about it and say to yourself, yeah, what what would it be like if somebody could talk to a dead person? You said um, you've also said that. Well, like you say, if if it was one person was found that could be proven to be only one, if there was, you would think that governments would be spinning multi-billions of dollars to find another one to no i think they would only take control. one they would take one and, and steps would be taken from all the countries and all the people in all the countries in the world to make sure that that person is uh magically disappeared <laughs> or it's just not going to happen there there it, it just it goes against any sort of uh, positive uh, a viewpoint other than an entertainment that you pay a ticket for at the carnival. Well, okay, so already Hamish is, has uh, weighed in. He says that if uh, psychics are real, then betting agencies and casinos would go bankrupt. That's true. That's what I said. It would be total chaos. There would be no, there would be no more uh, information for us to uh, believe in. <laughs> well, if we're talking about mediumship only and not- Yes, that, we are. Uh, well, then I don't know how that would affect a casino or a or a betting agency. If, if, if the because, dead- Because it would, only, it, would dead only take, it would only take one person to affect all of that. Right. So what I'm saying is, if you could only communicate with somebody who's speaking to the dead, not somebody who's predicting the future, not the dead is predicting the future, but only talking to them just one-on-one -on -one with a dead person and they're telling you about stuff in the past, that's what I'm talking about. So I don't understand what the question well, is. Okay, my question is, if you could, if, if you could really communicate with the dead and I'm narrowing it down to not being able to predict the future, yeah. To just communicating with a dead person. <clears throat> uh-huh. Then something like a, a court case, like I was talking about, would be ridiculous because if there would be no need to have a court case if if the medium would just come into the court necessarily or tell the police or the judge or whoever and say, Okay, I'm channeling so and so right now. It, it, and she it's said, self it's self-evident that that sort of information is not going to happen. Because it would have happened by now. I know, but I'm saying if you lived in a world where mediumship was real, is what I'm saying. What... We don't live in a world where mediumship is real. I know that. I'm saying if it did, what would the world look like? We I, have like trials. I said, I'm going to stand by what I said. There is no way to know the answer to that other than the fact that there would be a disruption, a physical manifestation that would be out of control in most cases, not just in uh, court cases or, you know, uh, situations that are trying to find out information that would save a life or show a situation that would uh, express uh, the proof. The proof has to be there. So I think that you're 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 reaching a little too far. I'm just There's trying just... to list it. I'm trying to make a list of some of the things that would 
would would mm. not exist. Mm. Like we wouldn't need um, historians. Oh, we wouldn't need doctors. We wouldn't need no, no, if you're just philosophers. Kidding, yeah. We wouldn't need religion. We wouldn't need. I mean, you could make a list that would be. I'm saying, okay. So how would how would you not need a doctor if you could communicate with dead people? Because that the dead people would be able to tell you exactly what's wrong and what killed it killed somebody and had the same sort of same disease and what what happened to that person. You could talk to all the great physicians from throughout time, right up until right up until today. Okay, so we would have an immense, enormous <clears throat> amount of knowledge be, that we didn't know. Like I said, we yeah, be yeah, it, obviously, but it would it wouldn't necessarily be all good information. Well, if you could call up Henry the Eighth and talk to him. And just what about say, it? Well, I'm saying you wouldn't need a historian that's a Tudor historian when you could just call up Henry the Eighth and say, "Hey, tell me about whatever it is that happened." And then he could call up his wives and you could say, "Tell it from your perspective." And then you would say, uh, "You know, you could call up any if you could talk to the dead, you would be able to get in touch with anybody in the history of the world." So we wouldn't need to be doing historical research looking into the documents and so that's on. right you would that's just talk why, to the dead again, person and they that's why i said there person. there wouldn't be any reason to stay alive because all the all the answers that are held in this this uh cosmic uh, uh you know uh world that we don't have any answers for those answers would be present and they would be disruptive to everybody so it's not going to happen and it's not it wasn't meant to happen and it's it's a it's just a a, a, con, a con i know i know that i'm asking you for a list of things that i don't know what you want like to okay say. so like genealogy i spend hours doing genealogy as you well know i have friends <laughs> that do genealogy there's enormous amounts of websites devoted to genealogy searching for a document saying when you when you came over from the other the old country and we can't find the document why would we even have a genealogist why would we even have that as a hobby or a field or anything like that if that's why that's why i say that's that's, a, that's that's just another thing that would be knocked Gone. out of the knock knocked out of the game right that's so that's what i'm talking about what what would be you know, because you and I see these people all the time talking about how, oh, well, mediumship is real. Mediumship is real. It's a real thing. <clears throat> but I don't understand how they can logically have that uh, disconnect. There is no it, logic to it. <laughs> Religion is not logical. By the way, do you see, can you see behind you? It looks like there's an alien face that over your shoulder. This shoulder? Yeah, you see it. No, is there something? It's on your curtain. Really? Yeah, look at look at your glasses. Mm -hmm. And now look look over to your, I guess it would be your right on the curtain behind you. Is he looking at me? Yeah. What's he, what's he doing? Maybe it's the dead looking over my shoulder. Well, now you move your head in front of it. You gotta move your head to there. Now look, see it? <laughs> It's right there. Yeah, right where your figure is. Yeah. Is that the leaf? That leaf looks like an alien. Hey, it looks like buddy, the, the, right the, in the eyes. Corner. You see the alien too. Anyway, I I, I hate to disappoint disappoint any of the strong reason, uh, people who are out there who are holding out for you know something to break through. I think that your your uh, your time would be best spent uh, spent staying away from. Uh, anybody who proposes that those those sort of issues could one day be brought forward, because it would be like tearing to shreds all all of uh, what do we call it? We call it um, what's the word? I don't know. I, I I'm searching searching the word. It's not philosophy, but it's it's a uh, it's a contentious argument that has been around way too long, and and I love a good ghost story, uh, as you know, uh, 
but I just, I don't know the answer to your question. I think that that's something that you have to write about and see what people actually think. And I'm sure they will agree that it would, it would uh, be a tr tremendous catastrophe. <clears throat> Yeah. So I'm asking And that's why if if one if one person were discovered by whatever means, like I like to say, he'd be the most dangerous person on the planet. And he would be either taken out, you know, immediately. <laughs> you know, I've I've wrote a script a long time ago about somebody who who uh, who just went underground and became a homeless person. And everybody thought he was crazy, but he was pulling some pretty big strings. That's what you would think. If you really could communicate with the dead, and yeah. they were just like talking to you all the time, I yeah. don't see how you couldn't appear to be mad. Because well, it, you, would, it would be impossible for you to tie your shoes or get up in the morning and get out of bed. If you, you know, it just you would you would live in a cabin as far away from people as humanly possible. I would think that's so. right. That's right, and they and they you would be even fully in dread that somebody would find out that you had this this talent, talent. and you would be you'd be you'd be running scared. You would not be doing uh, television uh, re so called reality shows. It would be you a would, curse, is what I think. Yeah, absolutely. Don't it would be worse than a curse. Curse. It would be. It would be insanity for that person, and if it was any sort of contagious thing, it would soon uh, destroy society. I think that's a really good point. It would destroy society if we could communicate with the dead. Well, okay, let me ask you this question as somebody who's been an expert in this field for so many years. Who is that? You. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm asking you, what... From the perspective of mediums who believe, who generally believe that they're able to communicate with the dead. Okay, that small, that small proportion, not the con people, but the very 2.5% or 5% that you say you think actually do believe they're communicating with the dead. What would they say? Um, I mean, we always hear it doesn't work that way. Um, but what do they say? is the reason why society has not, you know, fallen in on themselves. You know, why do we not have, why do we still have court cases? Why do we still have missing people? Like, why do we have unsolved crimes, cold cases? Why? What Again, you're, you, you keep, you keep, you, you keep trying to equivocate some sort of question and you drift off into something that is very nebulous there. They don't have any, legs to stand on well, what would they why, say? why is it that they that they that they agree to disagree is because they don't have any proof but what would they and say what is it from their perspective would they say they say like you just said oh ghosts don't work that way or you know yeah i mean every psychic i ever uh, worked with or or uh, rubbed shoulders with, they had answers to all of these questions. <clears throat> and the more they the more they brought up and uh, disagreed with uh, just common sense, the weaker their their uh, their stance becomes or became. So I mean, they it, it just isn't possible. It's not possible. It's not, it's not something that is healthy to invest your time and energy into. But who's going to listen to us when there's every, on every, on every uh, paranormal shows and podcast, everything, aliens, Bigfoot, all this stuff is just, I guess some people think it's fun or it's, you know, that uh, it's it, common sense is not available and anymore it's not it's not somebody who uh gives us any sort of faith it's somebody who is like a sideshow 
So, I mean, you know, you can believe whatever you want, but it sure would be a big old mess if one person on this planet stepped forward and knocked the knock the physical world on its on its ear we certainly have to burn all of the books uh we you know if if psychics were real and they really could communicate with the dead not only would we have to get rid of all of the history books and all the universities that teach history but we would have to burn the physics books and and that's the word physics yeah, yeah it, you would have it to, challenges physics everything would be, <clears throat> everything in science would be challenged if that was possible i'm sorry folks i i don't even call it skepticism i just call it common sense i mean <laughs> i would i would be very interested if because of this little conversation we've had that we we revealed something uh that was <laughs> It was the next step, but no, not as not as soon as not as as there's such people who who are uh, making money and selling uh, all sorts of toys and little statues. And... Okay, well, I think um, let's let's. Uh, I'm I'm interested in other people's comments, so I'm hopefully going to write this article in the next week or two. So <clears throat> have yeah, I mean, I don't write them in the I comments. Don't, I, mean, I don't like to sound like a naysayer or anything. <laughs> well, I'm just interested in the idea of what the psychics who do really believe would say. Yeah, but it's such that is such a small percentage. I I understand that. The, the and the ones that do on believe, the ones that do believe, as we've discussed many times, they're usually deluded. They're usually somebody who's off their meds or somebody who hears voices, you know, people who are schizophrenic hear voices and claim to get uh, predictions and things like that, but it never pans out. So, I mean, there's, yeah, if, it's a, it's a pretty big if. And I think that, you know, if there's another way to look at this, then we want to hear about it, don't we? All right, y'all. Do I sound like a curmudgeon? Well, I'll let people answer that in the, in the Yeah, I mean, don't talk. don't take don't just this is you asked my opinion and I'm just I'm just saying give any my my piece about you know what the probabilities and the and the you know that two two point five percent out of a hundred percent of the the charlatans that are out there. I'm waiting. I'm curious to what people are going to say. So okay. Thank you, Mark, for joining me today. Thanks for being here. See ya.